going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So the kick-ass duo between chocolate and peanut butter has been lingering around all week long and you know your boy's got to satisfy that craving. Now if you've been with me on the channel you know that I got a love-hate relationship between pancakes and waffles. Your boy just can't pick. But with that being said honestly when it comes down to it I just want to just mm, no, 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 straight down into cakes all day. But at the same time waffles have some pretty cool features. Most important, storage compartments for some epic toppings. So who do you go with? Team pancakes, team waffles? Comment below. In any case, today we're taking on an awesome Reese's peanut butter cup pancake recipe. Now, if you haven't checked out my original Jack pancakes recipe, I'm gonna go ahead and link up the video here. But if you're new to the channel, I'm Jason Alexander. Super stoked to see you here. Make sure to smash that subscribe button for your weekly dose of Jack's content. All right, enough jibber jabbing. I don't know about you, but I'm getting hungry. Time for some cakes. And you guys know the deal. Before we get started, grab yourself a scale and a bowl. So technically you're gonna need two bowls, one for the dry ingredients, the other for the wet ingredients. Let's go ahead and mix up our dry ingredients first. Now, if you're anything like me and wanna level up Kodiak pancakes, you wanna be a beast? You gotta go with the beast cakes. I mean, there's a bear on there, right? But we're starting off with 80 grams of Kodiak pancake mix. And next up, we're gonna use 33 grams of a Wayne casing mix. Now, in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and use about 26 grams of casein and then six or seven grams of a whey protein isolate. And if you guys are looking to use the same type of protein, go ahead and use code Jason for 10% off. And you guys know what time it is. Always island time. We're gonna go ahead and use 15 grams of a good old coconut flour. Then we've got six grams of a good old baking powder. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and set this aside, but before we do, just give this a nice mix. And then we'll get our wet ingredients ready. Now, first up in terms of wet ingredients, we've got 90 grams of a good old egg white. So you guys can definitely use a little bit more than 200 to 210 grams of the almond milk. The batter is gonna be super thick, so you've got plenty of room to add a little bit more in of the almond milk to kind of thin it out and make it a lot easier to throw onto the pan. For me, I personally like the way that this comes out with the 200 to 210 grams but everybody's got their own preference. So you guys have some extra flexibility. Then we've got the good old Greek yogurt. We're gonna use 50 grams of the Chobani Greek yogurt. Now, I will say that personal preference, I prefer Costco's branded version. For some reason or another, I feel like cooking with it is a lot easier. I don't get a whole lot of tartness from the pancake recipes usually. So I tend to use that, but they were all out. So we're gonna go ahead and use Chobani 50 grams. Oh, hell yeah. It's always nice being on target. Now in terms of the sweetener, again, I'm gonna use Swerve Confectioner. Feel free to use whatever you prefer based off of taste. But otherwise, we're gonna use 20 grams of Swerve Confectioner. And then we've got the good old PB Fit. Now, I highly recommend you guys to check this out at your local grocery store. PB Fit tends to come in regular and then also a chocolate version. The chocolate version is pretty banging if you've ever tried it. And personally, if you've ever tried PB Fit, just mixing it up with water and having it by itself, it is a little bland. You don't really get the same texture or I guess more so flavor aspect that you get from organic peanut butter or let's say Skippy or Jif. So just keep that in mind. But otherwise we're gonna go ahead and use some good old PB Fit. All right, let's go ahead and mix up this bad boy. So while I'm mixing up the wet ingredients, I'm gonna turn on the stove to a low heat. Guys, you don't wanna go full throttle with this. I'm telling you, patience is key. So most of you probably flip your pancakes right when bubbles start forming at the top of pancakes. I'm gonna tell you right now that this batter is way too thick for that. You probably see maybe one, maybe two come up, but for the most part, I'm usually gonna wait about a minute, maybe a minute 30, and then I'll start to flip. Woo now those, are some cakes. Time to make it epic. You know how we do, fam. We're gonna go ahead and load this up. First up, Greek yogurt. Oh, this is looking so good. Oh my goodness. 
and we're back guys. So in terms of anabolics, we've got a total of 992 total calories. So sitting right under a thousand. In terms of macro breakdown, we are looking at 20 grams of fat, 114 grams of protein, and 89 grams of carbs. Now, this recipe makes five six inch pancakes and each pancake comes out to a total calorie breakdown of 198 total calories with a macro breakdown of four grams of fat, 23 grams of protein and 18 grams of carbs. Now this specific recipe, I really tried to make the protein and carb ratios almost a one to one ratio, but also giving you enough flavor and flexibility to be able to adjust. So if you did wanna adjust some of the protein, you don't have to use the full 100 grams of PB fit. However, the peanut butter flavor is gonna be slightly dull. But outside of that, let's get into a close up. Hoo wee Oh yeah, take a look at that guys. Coming in fluffy and super thick. Cheers. Probably one of the best ways to enjoy a peanut butter cup. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this video. I appreciate you guys tuning in to another anabolic recipe. Give this recipe a shot. Let me know in the comments below how you guys liked it, whether or not you guys did anything to help spruce it up. But otherwise, two quick tips. The dressings definitely help to add in a ton more flavor. And if you're not a big fan of the chocolate Walden Farm syrup, use the Hershey syrup that I've got here. It does wonders. All right. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to smash that subscribe button and give this video a big fat thumbs up. It really helps me to know what types of content pieces you guys really enjoy. Other than that, stay safe, stay swole, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.